chapter 15 using BASLINK to prepare the business activity statement. So just following on from chapter 14, I would normally do that chapter manually print the BAS report. Then we can use Miles BASLINK and if we go to our accounts command center BASLINK. We're preparing it for the month of July only and we'll click on BAS info and first of all set our frequency at monthly. Today we are running ours accruals for the GST and importantly using the standard BAS that the ATO post drew out we're only using what's called the accounts method which are boxes G1, 2, 3, 10, 11. We'll ignore PAYG installments or company tax and we'll ignore the payroll because we're covering that in a different module so we'll choose not registered there. Once we've set up our preferences we'll hit OK and prepare statement. Uh, pop up some messages as we're going through. We'll just OK those messages. And finally, we're in our BAS link. I'll just resize this window so I can see everything. And again, you'll see the G1 total sales. Now I'll click Setup here, and we flag the items that go at G1, which are GST, GST free. Now when we hit free, it also asks you another item, G3. So we'll hit OK there and OK. So we've set up G1. G2 are export sales. Now we haven't got a code there so we leave that blank today. And G3 will hit set up. You'll note that FRE is already selected when we did it in G1. So we can, and we don't have any GST free sales as we just discussed. Scrolling down to G10, we'll hit set up. And as discussed, that's our capital purchases. And there's our photocopy of 2200. G11 was made up of GST purchases and GST free purchases. Now, GST free also go at G14, purchases without GST in the price. Hitting OK. Again, we need to verify that these figures match our manual report. Once we've completed these items, we'll go to our front sheet tab and we can scroll down and you'll see here the boxes G1, 2, 3, 10, 11. We'll go to the back sheet tab and we'll look down at 1A and 1B. And note these figures are the same as when we ran the manual report. And we end up with a, ref uh, sorry, a bill, in this case, of $125. Now those figures have to equal the manual report. Once you've prepared this, you could print this out you still need to fill out your BAS or you can't actually lodge this particular um, report from MILD. Before we do that though, we'll just hit the transaction button and uh, it does warn you about some errors. So I'll click yes here and it's got things like the accounting basis has been modified. You know, there's, there's a few options have changed. We'll just ignore those though. And if we hit that transaction button again, that'll give us a preview of the check that we need to write. You still need to go into spend money and write that check. So I'll just bring that up on screen. And here's the check on screen. You can see here we are posting it to the GST collected and GST paid amounts, which equals our BAS, uh, which we owe $125. There may be some rounding issues of a dollar, uh, depending which way you round. You should normally, though, uh, drop cents or round down.